All right, my Bible in 365, brothers and sisters, we have arrived at the book of Zephaniah. And folks, let me just say, this one is awesome. There are some great lessons we can learn from this. Zephaniah is one of many who are called the minor prophets, but folks, there is nothing minor about what they do. Remember, they're called the minor prophets because of the length of their writings, but in reality, the message that they communicate is absolutely major. Now, I want to say this because Zephaniah gives us three primary lessons, and these lessons are really, really important. By the way, if you want to get into a history of the book of Zephaniah, you can go through my online teaching of Zephaniah, where I teach through it very thoroughly. I spend a good amount of time with it. You can go to our website and grab that, or you can watch us on YouTube. We have those Bible studies there. And as well, I have a summary that I did on the book of Zephaniah that specifically summarizes all of uh, this writing that I did for Bible in 365 last year, there is an older generation of this. What we're doing this year is we are emphasizing certain aspects of these books or letters that will help you better understand all of the Bible as a whole. And of course, as you look at Zephaniah, there are three amazing lessons that you can learn from as you examine this. Now, the first lesson comes from chapter one and the first portion of chapter two, and that is the fact that God always judges his people first. And when I say that, I don't mean judge like when he judges the world or judges the ungodly. I'm talking about judging in that he disciplines us. He deals with us first because we are his children. This is his house. And we always, when we look at a nation, we should always be looking at what the Christians are doing in that nation. And it's not a surprise that as we are watching the United States of America weaken substantially, the people who identify themselves as the church of Jesus Christ has weakened substantially specifically to the woke industrial complex. And as a result, judgment has come to believers first and God is disciplining them. By the way, I do think that God is separating the wheat from the chaff. And it's really great when you think about this because when God starts to deal with a nation and he wants to do a great work, what he will do is he will work on his people. And so when you look at Zephaniah chapter one into the beginning of chapter two, you look at God's judgment upon the southern kingdom of Judah, and he speaks about this. And again, this is God, in essence, declaring his disciplinary action upon his people. And it always starts there first. Then the second thing that we oftentimes see is that God declares his judgment upon the nations. So those who actually attack his people will then be judged. And then what happens, and we see this when we get into the end of chapter 3, is we begin to see God restoring his people, right? God always brings salvation to his people, and there is great encouragement in that. And so when you look at the book of Zephaniah, you see some pretty amazing and very powerful declarations all of which are designed to get you excited, not only about the fact that God is pure and God is just and God is righteous and he acts upon his very word because he cannot contradict his own word. And so we shouldn't be surprised when God holds fast to everything that he says. Understand this, folks. Zephaniah teaches us all of these things and we begin to develop a really good understanding of what it means to fear God. This is powerful stuff. I hope you guys will be blessed as you explore this book and make no mistake, just because it's short does not mean it isn't powerful. So it's gonna be a good one, all right? By the way, I do wanna say this. We are ending the month of September and you guys are amazing. I cannot believe that we are at the end of the year you are all incredible. I am very proud of you. I'm very grateful for the dedication that you have shown in your commitment to the word of God. Keep fighting the good fight. You guys are awesome. God bless you.